What's up guys? We're back with a new review. Gonna be doing a review over Kong Skull Island with this dumbass over here, Avery. Um, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a little late. It came out last Thursday. But, whatever. We wanna do the review anyways. So, this movie had a few big names. Let's, uh, sad. Let's see, it says right here. Samuel L. Jackson, John Goodman, um, John C. Riley, and Tom Huddleston. I feel like they put too many big names in this. Um, like John Goodman had the smallest part in the world. Yeah. Very um, part. We'll go ahead and I mean I'm not gonna explain what the movie's about because everyone knows it's fucking King Kong. So yeah, we don't really need to explain that. But so what'd you what'd you think about it? I liked it. Thought the story was uh, simple. Um, haven't seen a story actually that simple in a while. I usually uh, it's King Kong. What else? I mean. How yeah. complicated could they make yeah. it? Um, I mean, it was it was a good story. Characters were good. Um, great acting, of course. Uh, thought King Kong was the uh, biggest he's ever been. Um, well, I mean, we do have a comparison here of let's see this one right. The first one is the original 1933 King Kong, and this one is the one, other ones from I think what is 2005? Yeah, 2005. <coughs> when uh, it was that Jack. Black one. Yeah, the horrible god off one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically the, the movie is about, if you don't really know, um, they find this mysterious island. This movie said in, what was it, 1975, 70-something? Yeah, which was very shocking to me. I didn't expect that. I know some. Of, I know the trailers were using like classic music and all that stuff, but I uh, didn't really expect it. Uh, yeah, but so it was set in the 70s. Um, John Goodman works for some kind of weird industry that searches for odd things, I guess, is really the best way to explain it. Monarch. Monarch. Yeah. yeah. Um, which you find out more about what that is later on, but this is a spoiler-free. Um, so basically, he goes to some, the government and says they found this mysterious island on the new satellites that just got pretty much put up since it was in the 70s, and... Um, basically, he uses he wants to find out what's on the island before any other countries do, since they are in war right now. Um, so they go there, it turns out it's Skull Island, and then shit goes down. Yep. And one thing I do want to point out this movie is it starts really fast. Like, they're not hiding King Kong. Yeah. Like, he's in probably the first 25 minutes. Like, there's no slowly, slow intro to seeing him. He's right there, right then. Um, but, I mean, I don't know. I felt like there was, I don't know, I felt like the characters were very bland. I mean, well, I mean, really, if you think about it, besides John C. Riley. It was a bunch of standard military men. Well, I know straight to the point. They wanted to uh, put more attention on um, yeah, Kong like, than but, on... I don't know. My only problem with it was people. I felt like they should have had more emotion into it. So, I mean, really, the only person that ever showed emotion in it was John C. Riley. Like, all the other characters. Even, like, Tom Hollis, one of the biggest names in it. He just kind of disappeared in the movie. Like, with everything going on in the movie, you don't even notice him half the time. Yeah. Um, and I'm fine with him, you know being about King Kong, but I don't see why they put such big names into it if the cast is just going to disappear into the into the movie. I mean, like, Samuel L. Jackson was in it, and I mean, he did his usual same role he does in every fucking movie. Yeah. I mean, the badass that is pissed off about something, basically. Yeah. And then, like I said, Tom Holston was a good... I mean, he acted fine. The acting from him was fine, but he just kind of disappeared in the background of everything going on. Um, but, I mean, that's just my opinion. And I felt like the cast was kind of... I feel like they probably wasted more money on getting these bigger names, and they probably could have done more with that money. True, I mean, they could have used <coughs> some, you know, well, um, I mean, lesser-known actors. I mean, you wouldn't even have cared. With, since it was all supposed to be focused on King Kong, you wouldn't have cared who the actors were. No. But I mean, they were probably what they were probably wanting to do was because it was back-to-back -back with Logan, they were probably wanting to, you know, put enough big names to draw people because everyone loves Tom Hilston and Samuel L. Jackson and... Yes. John Goodman, but I don't know. Um, but really, the main, the, I mean, the main star, in my opinion, was King Kong and John C. Riley. Yeah. Like, and when I first saw the trailer, I thought they were, he was just going to be in there for the, the uh, comedy relief, which he was, but it wasn't as bad as I thought he was going to make it so stupid Yeah. because of the movies he's been in, but it was actually a really good touch. Like, I think it would have been a worse movie without his character in there. Um, and then, I mean, all the other characters, like I said, they were all just no names. I mean... Yeah. Brie Larson was in it, which I think she probably had the second biggest part besides Kong. 
yeah. than John C. Riley. You see her more than probably anyone else. Well, she was, yeah, she was just there. It seems like she's uh, they're really wanting to get her name out there yeah. a lot. Seems like. But uh, so we talked about the cast. So so about the movie itself. So how did you think it was filmed? Think it was well done. Um, I mean the graphics that they use for Kong and stuff like that wasn't bad. Um, I mean, I'm more of a practical effects person, but... Yeah, but did you really want to see Kong in a suit? No, no, <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted to see him in a suit. But you know, like, how they've done with other movies with practical effects. Yeah, but I mean, they, they I, mean good. I mean, really, besides the monster, it was all practical effects. I mean, the explosions were real explosions. I mean... True. They and did everything they... Like, yeah, they... I mean, they did everything they could to make it practical, but, I mean, you can't make the monsters on Skull Island practical. Yeah. I mean, unless you go back to the 70s or the 30s and 40s and do that. Yeah, and then... Will probably look stupid. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was pretty yeah. well shot. Um, they stuck well with the time period, with like the, the soundtrack. The movie was a lot of seventies and older music. Um, they used napalm strikes, which is you know correct with the time period. Um, so I mean, they 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 thought about the time period, made sure stuff made sense with that time period, with the wars that was going on, and uh, stuff like that. Well, there was one. One thing that actually, now that I'm thinking about it, um, how they were able to use so much music in the movie, like, it seemed like with the helicopters and all that stuff, I mean, I get that, uh, you know, they were in that time, but, you know, you saw from the trailers when they, like, turned on the radio with the helicopters, it just seemed like they were really trying to make you think it's the 70s with I all mean, the music. I mean, it was good music, though. I mean, it was music yeah, that, it was like, music. the music that's in the trailer that's when that helicopter scene when he first attacked. I mean, that music was very fitting. That song yeah. was a good fitting song. I mean, it didn't have any problem with it. Um, but they did a good job, I think, with all the other monsters. I mean, I'm not going to go. I don't remember what all the trailer showed, so I'm not going to go and say what all the monsters were in it. I don't remember what was in the trailer. Was there any other monsters in the trailer? Uh, there besides? was there was the um, the main monster the was skull in the trailer. crushers yeah. or whatever he called them. Yeah, uh, which they they were pretty cool. Um, yeah, definitely pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they did make him like you said. They made him a lot bigger in this one um, in comparison to the the last one. Um, and one thing I do want to point out that made this one a lot better is they didn't fucking take him to the city. Like it was so yeah. much better seeing him in his territory instead of taking him to New York or whatever. That's one thing I do think they did with this movie is they, they stomped a lot of the, the myths and the dumb things with King Kong. Like taking him to the city and him climbing that skyscraper and the girl interest. He has a little bit of interest with Brie Olson, Larson. But I don't I was thinking about I don't think it was more to show, do that with his love interest. I think it was because he saw that she was just caring. Yeah. To, you know, people and uh, other creatures on the island. Because not all the creatures on the island are hostile. Some of them, you know, just live there. Even though she was very attractive. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying they didn't They didn't try to make it that love interest where yeah, he's obsessed true. with her. Yeah. Like, he didn't just save her in this movie. He saved all <laughs> some of the other people. Yeah. Because um, basically it ends up being like a 1v1 Kong and the people that believe in him and then some of the people that don't. Yeah. It's basically what it ends up being. And, I mean, the whole point of him is he protects the island. He protects all the people and all the other creatures on the island against yeah. the Skull Crushers, or whatever they were called. Yeah. Is that what they were called? he called them? Uh, Skulls? Stompers, Crushers. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was in the trailer. Yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, they get done with that, and you got to see his emotion. You got to see that he's not a mindless ape. No. Because that's the difference in King Kong and Godzilla, in my opinion, is Godzilla just kills to kill. And yeah. for the most part, Kong does it to either survive or save other creatures, I guess. Um, so they did well with making you care if he lived or died. Because honestly, I didn't care if any other actors died. Yeah. Like, they didn't have any actors that you felt emotional for, besides Kong. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe the, the girl. and I mean, John C. Riley, I guess. But for the most part, if any of them died, I wouldn't have cared. Like, you had no emotional attachment no. to them. Um, and they did that for a reason. Because in the 70s, I, I mean... They can make them look older, you know, um, for what's going to release in 2020, the mm -hmm. King Kong vs. Godzilla movie, which everyone knows about that. That's They've already hinted towards that. They've spread all across Facebook and the internet, so that is happening. I mean, but, the, um, they have the 2018 Godzilla, so he might appear in that too, who knows. But. I, the reason why I did like this one a lot, though, was because they broke away from that norm. Like, with Godzilla, if you look at all of those movies, 
like, there's pretty much, there's a point in the movie where you don't see Kong, and then, like, in the last bit, Kong comes out, fights the monster, wins, there you go. You mean Godzilla? God, oh, Godzilla, oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry, uh, Godzilla, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they do that in a lot of them, um, I mean, the last Godzilla movie, you didn't see him at all, except for the last, like, that last fight scene, you never really see the full... True. You see, like, him swimming in the water, but you never actually see him. And like I said, in this movie, they show him within probably the first 20, 25 minutes. Um, and then, I mean, you see most of the entire movie. Uh, but was there anything you didn't like about it, really, besides um, a few things you said? Just, you know, those few things. Yeah, they... It, I mean, with the cast, they were just basically trying to get people to go to it, because it's like the week right after Logan. So, they were wanting to... Um, just drum up as much people to come to this as possible, which didn't in effect work because it did win box office, surprisingly. I thought Logan was going to overshadow it again, but... Yeah. Well, I, I like this better than Logan. I mean, yeah. Hands down, this it was is a lot better down. than Logan. Yeah. I mean, it's two different genres, but as far as movies that come out in the same month, I think this is going to be the top one. Because the only other one coming out is what? Uh, Beauty and the Beast, which, I mean, that's whatever, and then uh, Power Rangers. Which is but, sad, because if you had told me that last month, I wouldn't have believed it. I thought Logan was going to take this month, but uh, month's not over yet. And, um, no, but I don't see Power Rangers beating me anything. No. <laughs> um, but like I said, we're not going to do a spoiler in, in this one. Um, I mean, I guess if you guys want, you can comment. We can do a spoiler later on the week. But as of right now, it's just us basically talking about it. Yeah. Um, but I think we pretty much said, said everything we really need to say. I guess we can go into a rating. Yep. And why you want to rate it that. So we'll start with you. You can go ahead and rate it. Um, I'd and, say... And why. Why are you going to give it that, I guess? I'd say a 9 out of 10. Um, That's pretty high. I mean, if I could do an 8.5, maybe an 8.5. <laughs> well, that sounds funny. Would you give Logan an 8? Yeah, I gave him an 8. So you're giving um, us a 9 compared to an 8 for Logan. Yeah. Um, Interesting. Reason being is just because, again... Uh, Kong was awesome, and um, I think it was a good setup for what's to come, and it definitely which made you, you a lot talk more. About right now. Yeah, yeah, which I'm not going to talk talk. I about. will say before anyone, if anyone hasn't watched it yet, there is an end credit scene. Yeah. <coughs> um, the credits are extremely long, but make sure you stay to the end credit scene because you'll miss something very good. Um, was there anything else you want to say about your writing? You um, yeah, just story was uh, simple. Um, I thought the uh, again. The way they did the fight scenes, everything like that. It's not really a spoiler. <laughs> but um, I thought it was a great, great movie. Alright, well, I mean, like I said, I didn't like the acting. <clears throat> I think they waste a lot of money on, like like I said, I like Tom Huddleston. I like, you know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and stuff like that. But I felt like they could have done it without them. Um, I mean, I don't think John C. Riley and John Goodman really matter. I mean, they're not really huge names anymore. But like Tom Huddleston and Samuel L. Jackson, there's some time much they spent in that two character actors to pay them off for this movie. Yeah. So I didn't like the acting. Like I said, I feel like they could have used more emotion and made you care more about the actors. Um, but really, besides that's really my only complaint. I think everything else was good. Solid fight scenes. Um, like I said, good good action. And, you know, Kong looked really nice. Really real CGI. I mean, they made him huge in this one. Um, so I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10, I think. Um, I mean, it's still higher than what I gave Logan. I kind of regret giving Logan what I did anyways. Um, so I would recommend this, especially, I recommend over Logan anyways, but it's definitely recommend it. I recommend going to see it in theaters. I feel like it would be a good theater movie. Um, it would probably be really good in one of those IMAX theaters. Yeah. One of the bigger theaters. If you have one yeah. of those around, you go see it in that, I'm pretty sure. Did they make this in 3D? You know? They did. Um, it might be a decent movie in 3D. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend going to see it in theaters, if anything. Like I said, if you can go to IMAX, I would do that. Um, but so really solid movie, well done. Uh... I don't, like I said, the few complaints, that's all I had. Um, is there anything else you want to say? No. I think you covered um, it? Yeah, covered it. All right, well, that's going to be the end of review, you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like down below, and we'll see you later.